effective political substitute for war would require alternate enemies. In other words, we have to find an external threat that's uh, essentially very large. It may be, for instance, that gross pollution of the environment can eventually replace the possibility of mass destruction by nuclear weapons as the principal threat to the survival of the species. In other words, they're going to bring the environment up to a point of global threat. Poisoning of the air and of the principal sources of food and water supply is already well advanced and at first glance would seem promising in this respect. It constitutes a threat that can be dealt with only through social organization and political power. But from present indications, it will be a generation to a generation and a half before environmental pollution will be sufficiently menacing on a global scale to offer a solution as a substitute for war. In other words, we replace the war threat with an environmental threat. Now you know why the environment is on the TVs and the media constantly. A generation to, is about 30 years, so it would be about 1991 that this would be brought up to global scale. It is true that the rate of pollution could be increased selectively for this purpose. In other words, what they're going, you could, you could selectively find areas where you could deliberately increase the pollution to get this threat in motion a little quicker. It is true that the rate of pollution could be increased selectively. In fact, the mere modification of existing programs for the deterrence of pollution could speed up the process enough to make the threat credible much sooner. In other words, let's have the governments drag their feet on pollution controls or the enforcement of pollution controls. And around the world, that's exactly what we have seen, a matter of foot dragging on the areas. One would then perhaps get the concept that this was all deliberate. Allow pollution to deliberately get worse until it can be manipulated by the controlled media into a world crisis. A global crisis has to be developed. Al Gore, Vice President, a very timely book perhaps coincidentally. He wrote the book called Earth in the Balance, Ecology in a Human Spirit. It's a modern version of Iron Mountain in the ecological field. And, and in reality, it's quite an interesting book. You, you should go out and buy a copy of it. Uh, the world uh, government organizations are pushing this climate crisis, emergency Earth Rescue Administration, the people of the earth have a new common en enemy which requires an emergency worldwide campaign. You see, and we have to abandon our armaments to join in a common cause for survival. What did Iron Mountain say? It had to be a threat to the survival of the species.